Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I did a video just a while ago off somebody's file, and somebody asked how they made this pattern. I suspect, and I, I was playing around with it earlier, and made all different kinds of patterns with it, but this particular pattern, I'm pretty sure that this is how they did it. I'm going to take an ellipse, and let's make it something like 18 inches. Whoop. I'm going to lock my ratio, make it 18 inches, and then hit P, put it in the center of the page, and then we're going to hit Control-D and make a duplicate, and we're going to make one 9 inches. I'm going to take both of them, and I'm going to hit B and put it to the bottom of the page. I'm going to change this to, we measured it earlier, and it was 1 inch, so I made a 1 inch ring. I'm going to go to Object, convert the outline to an object, left click, right click, and you see where I'm going. And then probably the easiest thing to do is go ahead and weld it, and that makes this one piece. And then this is where your imagination can run. I just drew a two-point line. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page, which is almost exactly, I think, where his is. Then all I have to do is take the virtual segment delete key, take my smart fill tool and fill that in. There's that shape. Now we, we've changed the length because it's mine now. I'm going to left click, right click. And if we continue doing it now, you can see that this is 19 inches. So in the previous video, we wanted to um, link them together. So we would take away that inch and make it 18 inches. Hit the plus key on the keyboard mirror it the other way and then well you actually have to move it up uh, we could do that mathematically but this is where you know it would kind of help him uh, if you would go ahead and take away that line with the virtual segment delete key we don't have to do anything yet as far as a smart fill tool but you could now that they're like that we can do 36 well um, might need to be 36, 34 inches. Let's try 34. Hit the plus key on the keyboard and move it over so 34 is not the, the right amount, my math. So this is 37, so we need to make it 36. Just take off that inch. So hit the plus key and move that over. And see, then if you go ahead and move this, down and you could just keep going like that but we showed earlier if you're going to make a bunch of them i would go ahead and take the smart fill tool and fill this in let's nudge it over and then left click right click no fill and outline and you really probably have to do what i did in the previous video but if you didn't watch part one, just watch it. But anyway, I was playing around and uh, somebody asked me a while back how I uh, know so much about Corel that I don't know that I do. Um, I just enjoy playing and I play a lot. So that's how I've learned a lot by playing. And I made every one of these, you know, that would be a cool earring uh, this would be a cool, you know, look at this pattern I made from that. And just a few simple steps. Let's make an ellipse. I'm going to hit P, Control D and make a duplicate. And then let's make the duplicate. I'm not going to measure anything. I'm going to hold down the shift key and make a smaller one. I'm going to hit P and put them both in the center of the page. Then I'm going to hit L for left. Then I'm going to hit the plus key for this guy. Shift select this guy and hit R. Select that guy, hit the plus key, hit P. Holding down the shift, select the outer ring and hit T. Select the little one, hit the plus key. Shift select the big one and hit B for bottom. Now we can take all those and turn them into our one inch line. We can left click, uh, 
turn an object, uh, turn an outline into an object. Then we can left click, right click, and you get this shape. And then all you have to do is well that everything will be perfect. You have this shape and you could do multiple rings or whatever. Let's do one more. Let's take that shape and make a duplicate and rotate it 45 degrees. Take all this and weld it. There's, here's a shape within itself. It's a little bit skinny up top, but it'll looks pretty cool. Then you could take left click, right click, take the uh, twirl tool. Let me zoom in a little bit. And I'm just playing. I'm not saying you'll ever do this, but give you some ideas. That'll work. You need to select the item, then you can see the nodes and try to get relatively close to the to the middle. And look at that. You made a totally different shape. And then the same thing with this one. Um, this one right here is not that fantastic, but and on this one I just did an oval with a circle in the middle. Um, let's try Control D and duplicating this. Let's rotate it. 22 and a half degrees, weld it all, and look at that, you get a whole new pattern. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.